So let me say welcome. Welcome to this Center for Conscious Living. I'm wow. Dr. Carol Lawson, and I am delighted that you're here and very aware that each person that comes in helps uh, adds oh, to crap. create. <laughs> well, maybe, but not necessarily. Usually, <laughs> usually each person that comes in absolutely adds to the field. So regardless of how we're feeling in this moment, welcome. You are loved. You will be inspired. And I'm delighted that you're here. I want to uh, thank the uh, practitioners that are uh, holding this space. Um, Reverend Marlene Volper is our second practitioner. Uh, Lynn Scheider is our third practitioner. Uh, Paul, Reverend Paul Hoyt is uh, uh, our pastoral support, uh, putting things up in the chat and uh, letting people in the, the room as it is. And our first practitioner today is Kathy Miller, who will be doing our opening invocation. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this <laughs> joyful space of uh, light and love. If you can just join me in deepening into your heart space, just feel, feel the presence of God flowing through you beating your heart, flowing through each and every vessel. I am so grateful for this, this beautiful truth, this truth of who we are, this magnificent presence, this wonderful being of light and love. Mother, Father, God, living through the multiverse of absolute joy, love, and compassion in this beautiful season of light, season of light and love that is always present. No matter how the winds of change blow, this beautiful essence of truth is constant, is ever present. This truth of the magnificent essence of God, your higher power, however you refer to this magnificent essence of love and joy. We're right here, right now, experiencing this together through this beautiful technology. It's amazing. I am just amazed at the presence and power of the oneness of this one life that we all share and lead. And I give great thanks and praise, and I am so grateful to this community, to our founding minister, Reverend Dr. Carol Lawson, who founded this beautiful Sangha, our community of light and love so many decades ago that continues and will continue to evolve and grow. We are so blessed for our beautiful musician, Norman, who brings his beautiful soulful rhythm and blues to us this morning. Thank you so much. And for all the practitioners and for everyone here who just makes up this community, each individual expressing the essence of God into this one, into this community. And I say, and so it is. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kathy. And speaking of that uh, music and that wonderful musician, this here's Norman Taylor. All right. Can you all hear me? Okay, good. <laughs> Been 
surrounded by midnight. Surrounded by midnight. Surrounded by midnight. But the sun shines again. Oh, yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Cause joy is back again. Been too long, tired. Been too long, tired. Been too long, tired. But I ain't tired anymore. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Cause joy is back again. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Norman, very much. <clears throat> I believe you. <laughs> and uh, now we have uh, one of the things that we do as uh, classes are completed is um, uh, honor uh, those people that have been doing this work for all of us. And I'd like to ask uh, Reverend Julie Fisher, who uh, taught the visioning class to uh, tell us about that and introduce these wonderful folks. Good morning, everybody. So um, we just finished seven weeks of life visioning. And that is a transformative process where we tune in to listen a little differently, a little more um, deeply. And we allow align ourselves to ask, what is the impulse of God that's moving through my life? And um, so we ask questions like, um, how do I need to change in order to best facilitate this vision? And um, we're really, um, opening to whatever it is that comes present here, um, putting aside our our own kind of wish list and aligning with um, with a greater joy. So um, we had a wonderful class. It was it was just um, it was just there. It, it was very lifey <laughs> going on in uh, <laughs> many people's lives were um, were definitely very lifey. And, you know, even through it all, um, there was just so much willingness and and dedication and and time and effort put into this process and and it was just an honor for me to be a part of it. So um, the people that were in the that completed the course were um, uh, Joanne Bear, Anne Blanchard, Esther Clark. If you go a little slower, Julie, so we can maybe find them in the gallery. Yeah, can, maybe like, if you're oh, here, you can just unmute, say, hey, and then mute again. <laughs> 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 so your face shows up. That'd be delightful. So uh, Joanne Bear, Anne Blanchard, who will be sharing with us in a minute, uh, Esther Clark, Sherry Davies, who will also be sharing with us. Uh, Patricia DeMeo. Hi, everybody. Hey. <laughs> uh, Jackie Griggs. Melissa Romero. And uh, we also had a, a brief time together with uh, Sophie Sanchez and Jen Miner. So maybe we can all just give a virtual hooray for this amazing class. <laughs> so Anne and, um, and Sherry. Um, are going to um, talk about a little bit about their experience. There we go. Yep, it's on me. Okay. Hey, you guys, just checking to see if you can hear us. Um, checking again to see if anybody can hear us. It's a little low, but we can hear you. Can you turn it up at all? Maybe I'll scoot in. There we go. So, um, yeah, 
good morning. Um, so Anne and I were a couple of those who signed up for both the uh, life visioning class and the radical forgiveness class, um, thinking that there's plenty of time in the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as it turned out, um, we, we were a couple of those for whom life was very lifey. Um, And after life had its way with me and I was able to join the class, um, the first of our classes that happened to be, um, we had to be visioning for relationship. Um, um, and what I, let's see, what I took away from the class was that um, whether I'm visioning for relationship or for finances or for the CCL community or for the planet. It's all about relationship. So it's my relationship with the planet. It's my relationship with the CCL community. Um, and I'm very grateful for the class. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Over here, I can't squat as long as Sherry can. She's a, a yoga teacher and I'm a stiff 57. Um, I, um, first, I really want to thank Julie for um, agreeing to, to host this class. Um, because I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm sure many of you know, Julie is in the process of relocating, following guidance to relocate to Florida to be with her family, be with her parents, be with her. Her, her entire family and um, uh, so modeling the fact that even when life is coming at you uh, and mind says you don't have time for this you got to attend to life you got to be out there rearranging the deck chairs you have to be controlling you have to be worrying you have to be her modeling that no this is the time to double down on making time to be still double down on making time to listen and um, I really appreciate that guidance because when Sherry and I started this class, as Sherry said, we thought we oh we have two classes, we'll, you know, we'll bang this out, this will be great. And and um, um, what happened very soon thereafter is, um, as many of you know, um, Sherry's both her parents alternatively got sick, and um, and they both during the course of this class. Um, uh, both made their transitions. Um, and um, I'll tell you, having this class as kind of a container to say, as Julie said, how does the impulse of God want to move through me? It's a very centering question. It was a very nourishing question. It was a very hopeful question. Um, and um, uh, what I can share for myself is uh, the very first um, class that we had. Um, you know, I think I had visions of me and Sherry on the couch taking the class together. And the very first class we had, I was in the car driving from Illinois, where I had been with mom and her real good friends, down to Arkansas to be with Sherry and her visits to the hospital. And as we did our very first visioning, Julie was giving instructions. And it came in, clear as day, you are to ask Sherry to marry you. And uh, on our last class, uh, that is what I did. And um, she has said yes. And, um, and uh, it's, it's a, this is a, just an, <laughs> can you see? Just an enormous celebration of trusting life uh, even though I don't understand, I don't know what it's for, and I'm still going to choose to trust, and I'm still going to choose to lean in. And thanks to this class, I'm going to choose to get quiet a little bit <laughs> and listen. And then I'm going to follow. Because the more we follow, the, in my experience, 
the more we are given. And it's just like, we're just like practice that muscle, practice that muscle. So um, another uh, um, uh, thing I wanna share is that we did as a group, and I, I realize I'm going on a little long here, but I, I, I do wanna say this part, if this is okay. I'm, I don't mean to be taking up time. Um, uh, we did it, we as a class did a visioning for the CCL community as, as uh, which is just, it's just part of what the, the classwork was. And, and what came in um, very, again, just so cleanly and clearly dropped in was uh, you and Sherry are to offer to host, I don't know, I didn't know what that meant, uh, a visioning for this CCL community on New Year's Eve. Um, again, like all guidance, at least mine, there's no, here's the steps and here's the parameters and here's you know how to do it. It's just, that's, how God wants to move through you. That's how life wants to move through you. So um, I, I, I don't know that any of the details have been worked out and maybe they have, but I want to um, take this opportunity to invite everybody um, who, who holds this community so dearly in their heart and who wants to open to the question, how does God wanna move through us? Uh, what is the highest expression of the, this universal life force that we have been given the opportunity to experience for some amount of time. With, how does that wanna move through with respect to, to CCL, our, our transition time from Reverend Carroll uh, into perhaps some interim thing and then perhaps some permanent thing knowing that nothing's ever permanent. So just wanna invite everyone to join us on New Year's Eve for, for a visioning, uh, details to be announced, but that too was out of this class holding the space to ask um, to ask that question, and again, then just listen. I mean, it was the last thing I thought I'd hear, and yet right away I could feel uh, this heart just saying yes to it. So, I want to thank everyone else that was in the class. Um, it was just a, it's just an incredible gift um, that um, that we give ourselves when we go in and and we listen. So, thank you. So. And if you could somehow hold the computer so we could see both you and Sherry. Because I think it's really appropriate that we as a community say congratulations and yay and uh, how beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful couple. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I want to talk a little bit about, um, you mentioned that uh, uh, Reverend Julie is uh, follow, <laughs> doing that visioning class and listening for God's guidance, has uh, uh, received the guidance for, to move to Florida uh, to be with her uh, parents who may need some uh, extra help and uh, some family members. and. I just also want to take a moment to um, say thank you, if I can, without um, crying. Uh, the, the, having this wonderful platform of Zoom uh, doesn't mean anything except uh, that she's even in the same time zone, so it won't, won't make uh, any difference uh, to us and to the energy that she has um, extended for so many years to this center. But I want to thank her. Um, some of you will know, and, and uh, many of you not. She's been on our stewardship um, council. Uh, she has been following guidance since the beginning when she left her job in finance in Philadelphia and ended up uh, doing drumming and sacred earth work in Alaska and then coming back and uh, uh, opening a yoga studio. Before that, when she was here, she taught many classes, the uh, metaphysical 12 steps. Uh, she taught uh, radical forgiveness, uh, spiritual practices. Um, we had a little few moments of reminiscing yesterday, going back through some of these classes that neither of us could remember all of them, but such, um, such a light and sharing that light in so many ways. So many, uh, you know, drum circles and solstice celebrations and uh, uh, we think a class on the four directions probably with Reverend Al 
um, all of these things. She's done retreats for the ministers and uh, practitioners. Um, so many ways that she has shared uh, the light of God that flows through her so strongly with us. And I want to say thank you, Julie. Thank you so much. It's always been such a joy to be part of this community, and I fully intend to continue because we have Zoom. So thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, we put in, well, I think we need to put it in here, liveinjoy at gmail.com uh, is her email if you want to uh, thank her for some special uh, thing that uh, you remember uh, from her. Uh, but uh, I wanted to publicly say that. And the idea that each time we do this work in a class and we work on ourselves, it helps in the collective. So uh, thank you very much, Visioning Class. Thank you very much, Reverend Julie. And congratulations, Anne and Sherry. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of requests for another Visioning Class soon, I guess. <laughs> I think of Mike and Ellen when it comes to be Christmas. They went to see Christmas lights. All right. And uh, Kathy Miller, uh, call our first practitioner to do our inspirational reading. We're filled with inspiration today. Absolutely. What inspiration. Congratulations, <laughs> Ann and Sherry. And Julie, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. So today's reading is by Ernest Holmes. And it is from This Thing Called You, page 174. Today, you are to hold your thought steadfast in the realization that God withholds nothing from you. Therefore, prepare yourself for a life of joy, love, happiness, and well-being. Believe in the divine freedom, which is yours by birthright. Say, I know that the law of God surrounds me with love and friendship. I permit this love and friendship to flow out to all things, to all people everywhere. I let it radiate in my environment, bless everything I touch, make whole that which is weak, turn fear into faith, and accomplish the miracle of healing through love. Whatsoever things are good and true, I shall think upon. This I shall remember, that the spirit is not far off. I shall remind myself that I live in the divine presence, that my affairs are in the keeping of the eternal mind. I live, move, and have my being in wholeness. Peace, poise, and power belong to my kingdom. I give joy and love to all, knowing that the gift of life is not to me alone. I share my good. I welcome the opportunity to love fully, completely, and joyfully. I believe in myself because I believe in God. I accept life fully, completely, without reservation, holding to the conviction that good is the eternal reality, that God is the everlasting presence, that Christ within me is the eternal guide, that my life is complete today. That's for me, that's for you, that's for all of us. If you would please join me in uh, repeating the affirmation, which can be found in your chat room in the chat room. In the stillness of this moment, I connect with the inner light and let love speak through the proclaiming the glory of this holy season. Here and now, I rejoice in the presence of God. So it is. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and uh, as uh, often happens, uh, Kathy is wearing a number of uh, hats today, although you can't see them, but, <laughs> but um, we also have another class that is completed, the Radical Forgiveness class, and uh, Kathy Miller and Haji Scheffler uh, were uh, facilitating in that class. So I think. Yes, hello, everyone. Um, wow, I feel like we just got a whole class already this morning in this service. <laughs> through the sharing and I am feeling super emotional. <laughs> so um, what a beautiful sharing. Thank you, Julie and Sherry and Anne. Um, 
so we went on an eight week journey with um, Kathy and I with uh, 13 beautiful souls. And this journey was really, um, oh, wow. I, I'm, I'm just warning you all like, I <laughs> the emotion is, is alive and ripe within me right now. <laughs> um, this journey into radical forgiveness was really, um, if we were to summarize, really about deepening into the connection with, with the, the light and love within us and exploring how we can shift the stories, the, the narratives, um, the beliefs that we hold about things that we have experienced in relationship, in society, in, in the world around us, and shifting that from beliefs rooted in separation and fear and victim consciousness into the knowing that, that God is truly present in all things and that every experience that we've had, painful included, pain included um, uh, experiences that may not have been pleasant, that may be very difficult. And even in those experiences, God is present. And when we look for the love, when we look for the unity, the oneness, that it is always a reflection back within ourselves. And so we were able to explore and deepen into forgiveness really as a tool of transformation in deepening into our connection with the divine within us. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm so grateful for everyone who, who uh, was a part of this class and um, for the journey that we took together. And I'm gonna pass it over to Kathy to say some words before we have some folks share. So each person in this class demonstrated tremendous courage and deep consciousness as they examined their beliefs and stretched themselves to open up to new ways of perceiving and putting into action forgiveness, radical forgiveness. Their thoughtful introspection and shared perspectives helped me deepen into truth that ultimately there's nothing to forgive. It's all happening in divine right order. It's amazing. Forgiveness begins within each person and their willingness to acknowledge challenging life situations as occurring because that is what their soul needs to expand consciousness as spiritual beings learning from this human experience. With an open heart filled with gratitude for their presence in my life, as well as honoring the work that they did I'd like to announce the Radical Forgiveness class of 2020. So when I call your name, um, if you'd like to unmute and say hi, go ahead or just please wave so we can acknowledge and honor the very, very deep work that you all did. So Anne Blanchard, congrats again. All the way from Oklahoma, is it seven o'clock or eight o'clock there, Lisa? Lisa Cover? <laughs> nine nine thirty. Oh, nine thirty. Okay, all right. So you're only an hour. Good. We thank you so very blessed. much. So blessed. Sherry Daves, Joyce Friggin, yay. Christine Hopkins, everyone. Will Cates, Peggy King, Katora Leah, Good morning. Mary Micus, yay. Sorry, going too fast. Mary Micus, Dan Mulvey, Melissa Romero, Kathy Wakeham, and Julia Webb. What a class. And for a short time, we had um, Barbara Cooling with us, as well as Joanne Del Vecchio, who we hope is healing beautifully. We know is healing beautifully. So uh, well done, my friends. I applaud you. And uh, our first speaker will be Ann Blanchard. Take it away, Ann. We, we just can't get enough Anne Blanchard, can we? All right. Here's the most important thing I can say about this class. This is the first class I ever took at CCL. This was my first introduction to anything called like spirituality. I didn't, I don't, I didn't, I'm not sure I even really knew what that word meant, except for if I did, I, I probably thought other people had it, the special people, and I was just going to enjoy this CCL group I'd come to on Sundays. And what I learned five years ago when I first took this class with 
Will, Will, who, Will, who was in this class, and Kathy, who was in that class, first time I met them, and Carrie led the class, and Cassandra Butler. It was the first time I ever stood in the presence of someone who claimed your miracle before you knew you were going to get it, who thanked God for the miracle that you didn't know was coming, and I believed her because I knew she believed it. She believed it for me. And every class she stood and I, I claim the miracle that is here. I claim like, and I think I just thought, damn, claim it for me too. And I, and I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know how it meant, but I knew that she knew something I wanted to know, but I trusted her knowing even though I didn't know it. More specifically, what radical forgiveness gave me is a really enormous gift, which is doubt. Doubting that this mind and the story it tells me right away about what they did and about how it is and about how it is I should feel, to doubt that. What it did is put into me the idea of this victim consciousness. Now, none of us, none of us wanna be victims. None of us are victims because we're spiritual folks and we don't do that. And yet when I really look at the story that kicks up whenever life happens, it's poor Anne. Now, and I'm not gonna say it out loud because of course, you know, I'm like way beyond that. But I watch this victim consciousness recreate itself inside of here habitually. And so what radical forgiveness did is gave me a doubt. I may not know all the way it's not true, but something in me goes, I, I don't, I, let me look again. Let me not act on that. Let me investigate. Let me just sit with it. And that little pause is a difference between a life of being super sick and believing it and believing I can't even get out of bed to come to class five years ago. And now of believing that the universe doesn't happen to you. Life doesn't happen to you. It happens for you. Am I looking? Am I open? Am I willing to question what's happening in here and open to what I'm being told from here? So I just really wanna thank Kathy and Haji for holding this incredible space. I thank everyone in the class for having very courageous conversations where we all kind of treaded into some water that maybe we weren't quite sure, but we were willing to explore in front of and with everyone else. And I just, uh, Reverend Carol, this space that you have created and held uh, for all of us in which all of this happens um, has changed my life forever and everyone I love and I just say thank you to all of you. Thanks, Ann. Kathy Wakeham. So you have to unmute, dear. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read my uh, thought paper on forgiveness. John Mundy said, we sign up for a variety of classes. I believe he meant that metaphorically. In the book, Radical Forgiveness, however, the message is literal about forgiving oneself and others for the past and present behavior. I found the approach easily translated into common language indicating simply forgiving without projecting. The concept of world of the divine truth was especially gratifying, focusing on the words first cause being the key to comprehension. Understanding one's raised vibrational rate enabled me to accept synchronicity in myself. In other words, living in the present with vibratory energy rather than living in the past with pain. I've come to truly understand that I cannot forgive my memory. It does not work if I am not healthy. And I am blocking my energy with resentment and guilt and grief. Forgiveness is simply a shift in energy. Praying for peace is not the answer, but praying to feel peace is. 
I enjoyed using the worksheets as I emphasized why I came as my past behavior, good and bad. They made me see these experiences were truly gifts. So that I can heal moving forward with the, with the tools that Colin recommended. Although there is still a lot of work for me to do, I honestly feel I made the first step in my willingness to move forward. A big thank you to Kathy and Harvey for their caring and open-minded style of teaching. Many thanks. Beautiful. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Anne and Kat, Kathy, you have me crying now. Um, now, Peggy King, please. Uh, can't hear you, Peg. Hear me. Now, it's slow, but yeah. Okay, better? Perfect, thank you. Okay. So about 30 years ago, I was introduced to Louise Hay's book, You Can Heal Your Life. And in that book, she talks about the importance of forgiveness as part of the healing process. So I did a lot of forgiving of the people I thought had done me wrong. But, and well, actually it worked. I survived cancer. And I was very happy that I was still alive. <sighs> but I think that I realized there was a piece of the puzzle still missing. And I think when I took radical forgiveness, I figured out what it was. I was still living as a victim in a lot of circumstances. Oh God, this is a crying morning. <laughs> Sorry. I was living as a victim in many of my relationships and in my thoughts. And I discovered with the Radical Forgiveness book that um, I needed to find a way to let go of that thought and to believe that everything that was happening was actually helping me to heal my life and to be stronger and more positive and more loving, especially more loving to myself. So thank you, Haji and Kathy, for the inspiration and for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Thanks, Peggy. Christine? Okay, so I'm gonna read my one page paper too, which um, came through me like a letter from God. And um, this course was really deep. And uh, I'm feeling tearful this morning as soon as I joined the service. I don't know why. So uh, here goes. Forgiveness is not sweet. It is not weak. It is powerful, robust, and hard to do. Forgiveness requires guts, sturdiness, the ability to stand up in the turmoil of big feelings and be present. Forgiveness means the courage to step into not knowing who you are without the ballast of your resentments, grievances, grudges, anger, and rage. Forgiveness hurts a lot. There is a part of me that adamantly does not want to forgive that wants to feel strong from the anger and grievance, that feels offended and insulted, that energizes with this gasoline of personal power and the reactive boundaries of the non-vulnerable. Forgiveness means lightening my load. Forgiveness means having more energy for beautiful play and art and love and physical vitality in my life. Forgiveness means falling into the sleep of the innocent when I go to bed at night. Forgiveness means the universe is safe. Forgiveness means I am okay as the person I have been, am now, and will be in the future. Forgiveness means mercy and that I will not be punished after I die. Forgiveness means that all people can be forgiven. Forgiveness means joining the circle of life with the animals and insects, with the clouds and the rain and the wind, because we are in this life together, 
and not one single molecule or electron is or will ever be unforgiven and shunned. My dictionary says forgiveness means to give up all claim. Forgiveness means my past does not contaminate my future. Forgiveness means that I can become clean and shiny and whole and clear. Forgiveness in and of, by and for me gives up all claim to harbor grievances against reality, against humanity. Forgiveness is freedom from grudges, freedom from feuds. Forgiveness means the wars of the past do not keep giving birth to the wars of the present and future, neither inside me nor in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As uh, I guess Marlene wrote here, I bow to all, all in these two classes for the deep work that you have all done. It is the truth from all of us. Because in your work on yourselves, you have cl helped clear the collective for all of us. And we are grateful. Thank you to everybody. Well, I, uh, I think we've... Uh, <laughs> We've had uh, our message already. Uh, I uh, was going to talk about and will a little about celebrating this light. Uh, it's Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah, this Festival of Lights. I'm sure you know the uh, story, but you can also feel the light that is uh, brighter in each of these people as they've done this work, and therefore for all of us. Uh, this light in the temple where there was only enough of the sacred oil to light the menorah for a day and it stayed lit for eight days. I ran across a, a modern interpretation to help us understand. We're talking about miracles, just like the miracles you can see in all of these people sharing. It's as if uh, it says your cell phone had a 8% uh, battery and it lasted for eight days. Uh, you get that like that's a miracle, it doesn't happen. So that's what we're talking about, is celebrating the light, light being uh, living in God's highest truth, which is kind of what we're here to do, is it not? And the truth is, has been shown in these various sharings this morning, that we are that light, that this divine the light itself is within us. It's the ground of all being, it's always shining. And so we just have to remember, sometimes move out a few of the established patterns or, uh, or beautiful, many of the things Christine wrote about, let go of all of that and let the light that's already shining flow in this moment. The, uh, Ernest Holmes writes, there is a light that permeates the world, but we have not sensed it. We need in the silence of our own contemplation to take time to feel that light and to see it. We have to hitch our earthly wagon to a spiritual star. The only light there is, is this light eternal. And, and I brought this from the uh, foundations class curriculum. It's in a book called Living the Science of Mind by Ernest Holmes as well. And it's talking about uh, your true and immortal self. There's a great difference whether you believe God to be within you or outside you. For if God is outside you, how are you going to reach this God who not being some part of you must be separated from you? How can you hope to unite things which are different from each other. But the God who is already within you, being forever perfect and complete, needs no reunion with anyone, and you need no reunion with this God, because this God is already in your every act, in every thought, in every movement, in your every plan, purpose, and performance. 
And this is the light that we're celebrating in this sacred season. And as we connect with that light and radiate that light, then we become the gift uh, that we can give. There's a story that I've told before, and you can tell it's a pre-COVID story about a little girl, maybe kindergarten even, that uh, went to Europe with her parents to see a lot of cathedrals and saw all the stained glass. That's the pre-COVID part where she flew to Europe with her parents. And when she came back, her Sunday school teacher asked her, or asked the class, does anybody know what a saint is? And she says, I do, I do, I do. A saint is someone that the light shines through. So we are here to be translucent, to let the light shine through, regardless of our life situation, to pay our attention to our life, which is the life of God, this inner energy field that is always within us, that is our true essence, that is the light that we celebrate, this divine light in everyone and express so beautifully this morning through so many. So you are very aware that we're in a time of transformation, a lot of opportunities to look at, to renew, to notice our old established habitual patterns and to allow uh, as Anne says, just doubt, maybe that's the truth, and let's see something different. As uh, Ernest Holmes reminds us as we're talking about evolving, when we're filled with light, we help lighten the pathway for others. When we have the consciousness of the divine presence, then others feel this presence and enter into the light with us. You could see this morning how that happened as each person came forward to share. So we are points of light in the mind of God. We're all unique, diverse, yet we're all connected. And I, I know, as Anne referred to Cassandra, knowing the truth, that that divine light is the truth of each one of you and flowing through you. Bubbling up is that deep desire to be more, to say yes to this deep transformational process, to this is the activity of God manifesting as our greatest good. Oft quoted from Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small group of committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it, it is the only thing that ever has. That's what's happening here. Love cannot be stopped. It has no end. Compassion cannot be destroyed. It has no weakness. Let your heart guide you. You know what to do. So I'm going to ask you to just take a deep breath. Center yourselves in this moment. And staying on mute so nobody will hear you except whoever might be in the room. But you will hear you and the universe will hear you. She repeat after me. I am the light of love. I am the light of compassion. I am the light of authenticity. I am the light of beauty. I am the light of my soul. I am the light of my soul. I know who you are. I know what you are. I know how you serve in truth. And I invite you to say as well, I know who I am in truth. I know what I am in truth. I know how I serve in truth. I am the light of my soul. And that is the truth. Blessed be. God bless you all. God bless us all. This one light. Okay. The uh, offertory blessing is in the chat. If you'll join with me in reading it. 
Thank you, God, for this abundance that is mine to share. I bless this gift and give it to thee in gratitude and joy, knowing that as I give, I give receive. And so it is. Thank you. And Norman Taylor. All right. Um, so, um, take a little breath here myself. So, um, when I started this journey, um, uh, I took some classes at CCL, and uh, I remember being in foundations, and I guess I had accrued enough classes to apply to be become uh, a practitioner. And there were two people who were really inspirational uh, for me to, to, to take that journey. One of them was Chrissy Cannon, who I had known years before and saw this beautiful transformation in her. And the other one was Julie Fisher, because uh, she was just such an incredible light. So I just wanted to put that out there and all love to you, Julie. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> anyway. Listen, thank you so much. I want to say something. There are actually way more words to that song. And uh, my emotions have kind of overtaken me. So I forgot my own song. So hopefully the, the message came through loud and clear. <laughs> I think you're muted. Yep. You are the light of your soul, Norman. So it shows. <laughs> we don't need words. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all very much. And we, uh, back in the day when we were uh, meeting in person, we uh, had a prayer that we offered anybody for the first time. Now in this beautiful Zoom format, we offer it to one another. So I invite you to repeat after me. Welcome to this Center for Conscious Living. Welcome to the Center for Conscious Living. We are a heart-centered spiritual community. 
we open ourselves to you in love. We recognize the perfection of God within you. We celebrate the joyous being that you are. You are a radiant point of light. We are blessed by your presence. Welcome home. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, all right, let's do um, um, a few announcements. And um, as we're moving along here, um, if you didn't don't get our newsletter, uh, why please put your name in the uh, chat, your email address in the chat, and uh, or uh, e send an email to CCL in Morristown at AOL.com. And we will put you in and you'll hear all this and be able to see it. But just to remind you, uh, and this uh, email went out, uh, I don't know, Friday night. So it'll, they'll be there. We're having a holiday basket raffle. We did last year and had great fun. So today and next week, there's a basket raffle. A couple of you um, uh, want, needed more information on how to do that. Uh, you can just go to our website or any of the PayPal Venmo things. We've made the prices on the raffle an odd number, so we'll know that that's that you are doing this for the raffle, or there's a line where you can say what it's for. We have a holiday concert coming up, and uh, I, I think Jackie's on the call. Norm, Norman's here for sure, and they'll both be on it. And uh, uh, anybody want to say anything? I, uh, Jackie, are you? Uh, I'm here. Uh, I'm glad to say something. So um, the concert is going to be Saturday evening at seven o'clock and Norman is here. Uh, Lou Doty will be joining us. Uh, Beth Anawa will be with us. So uh, we really encourage you to please participate because it, it is or to join us because it is a fundraiser for CCL. Uh, we will be doing some of our favorite and your favorite because we already know what your favorite music is because we're one. And so we're going to do that music, uh, holiday music, some of our original music. It's going to be fabulous. And we would really, really love it if you join us, if you get some of your friends to join us. Marlene uh, just said that um, she did paste, uh, post it on Facebook and We've had it going on in email. So um, if you see it on Facebook, can you please post it on your social media, on your Instagram, on your Facebook? Because we want to have um, as many people join us and uh, participate in this fundraiser. So Norman, I don't know if you want to add anything or if anybody else is on the line. Thank well, you. Yeah, just I think it's going to be a, a good time. Um, you know, it, it's, it's great to be able to do some musical um, offerings like this that uh, it's I, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while so it's really great to to be able to just have a night of music and have you enjoy some of the different music that we do um, and it's fun because we're all slightly different you know we all have different styles of ways of playing so in uh, and expressing uh, the musical form so yeah Thank you. That is Saturday. Am I? I'm, you can hear me, right? Saturday, December nineteenth, uh, seven o'clock. Uh, your tickets. You can get tickets on Eventbrite, and it's in the newsletter and uh, Facebook, and hopefully your own social media. Thank you, Jackie. Um, we'll have a Christmas Eve service as well as we have done uh, in the past. It'll be December twenty fourth at six thirty. Uh, a, a lot of uh, our musicians and uh, the practitioners and ministers praying for us and. Uh, Cassandra that uh, referenced earlier as the one that knows the miracle before it happens suggested maybe we could all have a candle and as we come together that night uh, we'll be the light. Um, there, Mary Law is uh, teaching a class on Thursday nights, uh, the Cultivating the Christ Light, uh, and uh, she has uh, said that you could uh, join if you join this, uh, this next week. So again, you can uh, just uh, go to our website or uh, call uh, Marlene at the office. And uh, I don't know, Mary, if you wanted to say anything, I don't want to pass over if you're already unmuted and ready to go. Uh, just to, um, if you plan to join us, we welcome you and would love it. I'm trying to record each week. You never know if the energies will allow that to happen, but this week we were successful. And for week two, this Thursday, it's really essential that you listen to the recordings. It was only two hours worth, and there's two, two important vital attunement meditations. So if you, can, if you can do those meditations prior to this Thursday night, then you'll be able to um, 
join right in and receive the next level attunement at the level where um, you'll be able to practice with the class. So we would love for you to join us. Thank you. Uh, Carol, can I say something? I was in the class last week and Mary, it was amazing. Um, got some amazing downloads, some visions. Uh, it was extraordinary. Uh, please join this class. I won't be able to be there next week, but I will get the, the, uh, the emails and, uh, but it, this is extraordinary. And, uh, Mary is, it, it's, it's a phenomenal channel. So come join this class. It's, it's extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Mary. Uh, the next thing, sponsor a sisterhood family. Uh, it's it's uh, more important this year and more difficult this year since we're not just run to the back of the room and, you know, give Kathy a check or bring your presence to her. So um, please uh, move in this direction. It's also in the newsletter. Uh, she has uh, sidewalk drop-off dates of Monday, December 14th, which might be tomorrow, and Wednesday the 16th if you are buying presents for uh, uh, toys and gifts for children age 1 to 15 for the sisterhood in Burlington um, City. And if you'd like uh, the Milano family to uh, shop for you, you can uh, give them uh, your donation, and that information is also in our a newsletter. Um, we are also asking during this uh, interesting Zoom time um, for those of you that are members of the community or that want to be to please uh, commit to membership by uh, just sending your um, email to Marlene. Uh, we normally have something to fill out and sign and all that, which we can't do. So we will just um, ask you to please recommit to being a member of this glorious community and um, uh, maybe because she's on the call, we should also uh, thank um, Reverend Chris Canosa, who for many, many, many years uh, has been on the Stewardship Council and in a number of other uh, positions here, um, but has some uh, personal um, family members that she is taking care of now. And so she's stepping back from our Stewardship Council and um, Haji Scheffler is joining. So welcome Haji to the Stewardship Council and uh, um, Kathy Miller uh, and Sherry Daves as well, who we welcomed at our annual meeting. So thank you all very much. God bless. Uh, I don't know. Carol. If, yes. Okay. And then Ken is going to have an. Have an tomorrow, to tomorrow is the CCL of the, the, the um, Course in Miracles meeting for the Center for Conscious Living uh, is going to be our regular uh, seven o'clock Zoom meeting. I put uh, my email address in the, the uh, chat box if you wanna contact me to join us. It is a wonderful adjunct to the concept of radical forgiveness, and I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, perfect. Well, that, yeah, I was just scrolling up for the group, so perfect, and that's the group that's meeting this week, so terrific. Okay, uh, we've got a couple other things to do. Um, and I think, how about let's do the basket raffle right now, Marlene, and then uh, we've got a concluding song and an uh, affirmation. But Marlene has, are you there? I am here. <laughs> I want you all to note that our basket is the crayon basket from the church office. And the crayons that were in here were lovingly donated to uh, Love Orphanage. So they are going to make their way to Love Orphanage. But I kept the can and I thought it would be a great can for us to, to do our raffle in. So I'm gonna have the, um, the arm of picking so that y'all know that it's, you know, um, legitimate. And uh, Beth Nauer made our baskets with things that you have all donated and they're absolutely incredible. She's an incredible basket maker, so. And the winner is... Lynn Scheider. Yay. All right. So Lynn, we will make sure that the basket gets to you. I don't know if it's gonna be Beth that delivers it or me, but it'll be one of us. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and for another chance, buy, please uh, buy some raffle tickets, buy a ticket to our beautiful uh, holiday concert coming up and let's uh, listen to uh, Norman. 
All right. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine I ain't gonna make it shine just gonna let it shine Ain't gonna make it shine Just gonna let it shine Ain't gonna make it shine Just gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine This little light of mine Gonna let it shine This little light of mine this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. <laughs> Thank you, Norman. Yes, we don't have to make it, just let it shine. Beautiful. Hey, and let's conclude this beautiful service by repeating after me. Something wonderful is happening to me right now. Something wonderful is happening to me right now. It is this thing called life. Life is in my body. Life is in my mind. Life is in my feelings. Life is in all my activities. I receive it. I share it. I am it. And I accept it just the way that it is. Thank you, life. And accepting all of these gifts, we say yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Blessings and love. Martha Creek coming next Sunday. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy everybody. Hanukkah. Great job. Woo -hoo. Beautiful service. Yes. Yeah. Great job. Hey, guys. Hey, Deb. Thank you all. Wonderful Enjoy. service. Hi, Joe. Beautiful. Hello, Lisa Thank Cover you. in Hello, Oklahoma. Welcome. Hi, Regina. Unmute yourself. Say hi. Say hello. 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 Hey, Orlin. Hello. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank hello. you. Hello. So lovely. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Stephen. Happy Hanukkah. Happy hello. Hanukkah, Arlen. Hmm? Oh, thank you. And all the beautiful Hanukkah lights should shine and illuminate everything. Right. That's right. Lisa, thank you so much. I'm so glad you could thank be you. here from Oklahoma. Um, thank God for Zoom. I will. Thank goodness for Zoom, right? Yeah, it's cool. Thank you, everybody. It's been beautiful. <laughs> So happy Hanukkah. Happy holiday. Hanukkah, thank oh, you. Happy Hanukkah, Bobby. Hey, Jody. Oh, Bobby. We missed you last night. Happy Hanukkah, Bobby. Love you all. Love you. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Hey, Joe. Happy Hanukkah. Hey, Felicia. Happy Congratulations happy again, Sherry. Congratulations, everyone. Hello. Congratulations. Have a great week. Have a great week, everyone. Have a great week. Everybody have a good week. We'll see you. Uh, there's Bobby. Hello. Hi, Kathy. Happy holidays, Happy holidays to everyone. Happy holidays. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Bye. Hi, Hi, And Anne Hi, certainly Hi. taught you, Cassandra, the way you treat. That was fun. That's right. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Norman. Hi, Paul. Yeah. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Wonderful job. Right, have a good day, Julie. <laughs> Have a great Love day. You. Bye bye. Love you. Love you all. Congrats, Julie. Thank yeah, you. That's wonderful yeah. news. And, and congrats, uh, Sher Sherry family. And I see Sherry. you, Virgie. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the wedding? Hey, Will. Good job. Ciao, guys. Love you all. Bye. See you next week.
If not, be bye. Bye. Oh, duh. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Well, blessed day. Have a blessed day. Right. Good. Good. Happy holidays.